prima donnas welcome back to the channel i am valitra and i am the crafty black girl so you guys i told you guys we were getting into easter basket so here we are we have a barbie easter basket that we're working on today and as you see as you saw i started by taking the tags off and now i'm filling my baskets with packing paper and i just rolled two and then covered it with one so then i'm poking this hole with my bamboo skewer to prepare for this little straw thing those came with my bobo balloons but I'm not using it for that because I need a stronger base for this basket. So then I went in with the this Dollar Tree shred, which is iridescent color. Love now it. I'm securing the back of the Barbie head to the big straw. And I'm doing that with tape just how, as I would the bamboo skewers. And then I'm going to add this candy pop popcorn on the back of the Barbie to make a double sided basket. And then I'm going to go ahead and add the shred on the back as well. And I'm adding these little Barbie shoe accessories that I got from Dollar Tree. And I actually got these things last year. So I didn't have to pay the extra dollar, the extra 25 cents. I'm sorry. And then I found these in Dollar General, two for five dolls. And they look just like Barbie dolls. So I just took them out of the pack and put one in each basket. And that will bring the cost down to $2.50 per Barbie instead of seven dollars on an actual barbie so then i'm just going to add these little lip glosses that i got during the um sale for a dollar general that they just had and i paid 20 cents for those so whatever you see the the two dollars 20 cents they were 90 percent off so i'm just going to go ahead and add those in to fill in my basket without adding so much to the cost so i added those two lip glosses and that only cost me 40 cents so then I'm going to turn it back over to the other side and I'm just working with both baskets doing the same thing one basket to another and that's what I like to do. I like to buy things um, basically the same things I try to get multiple of so I can just mirror the same basket multiple times and sometimes I set it up differently sometimes I don't but with this one as you can see I'm doing the exact same thing as I did in the other basket and this is a way that you can produce more baskets than you know one at one time so sometimes I'll sit up four baskets and just place everything at the same time and that way you get four baskets done at one time so then I'm gonna make this little candy flag here and this will just fill in some space and it'll fill in some space without even having to spend much um i bought those from sam's a whole big thing of the mini airheads and so that'll help me fill up some space in this basket without having to put bigger items or um higher price items so that's a good idea if you want to fill your basket up use use candy that you get you know from a wholesaler or that you get from sam's and that'll help you fill up a lot of space and just make little you know decorative things with the candy and that'll help you fill up your basket pretty fast and so these are the shrink wrap bags that i use i'll link those down below as well and then i'm basically going to cut this down i always have to cut them down because the bags that I get, they're always a little bit big, um, but I can always cut them down to the size that I need. And I'm using my Cricut cutting board. I'm going to link that down below as well. These tools just make it so much easier to do the job. They're not necessarily absolutely necessary, but they do help you do your job a lot easier and a lot faster. So I'm just going ahead and tying off the top and I'm using just some what is that curling ribbon but that actually came from the bottom of my pool bowls whenever i cut the bottom of my pool bowls i never throw it away i always save them and use them to tie other baskets and then i'm using my shipping tape just to secure the sides of this basket just like you guys always see me do and yeah if i buy smaller bags i won't have to do this step but i like to buy bigger bags because i really don't know and i haven't figured out what size works for what size basket yet so i just stay on the safe side and or order them bigger and cut them down and just tape the sides of the basket so now i'm just securing the bowl i'm doing pull bowls here because these are going to be less expensive baskets for easter and just as uh, felicia was telling us those who were, watch birth and bosses which most of us do she was telling us not to use expensive ribbon and bows on easter baskets and that makes so much sense i got these pink 
little uh, bowls from Dollar General. They were two for a dollar, so that is 50 cents for a nice pretty bowl and it will go perfectly with this barbie theme so i was super happy that i found those i actually found some in pink and i found some in purple and i'll be using the purple for another video that i will be doing soon so i'm just shrink wrapping the bottom only of these and this is what it looks like we have a barbie basket so if you guys like the video, give it a thumbs up, you guys. This is just giving you some ideas on how to build your baskets for Easter, some Easter ideas. You don't have to use actual Barbies. Find you an off-brand doll that is a nice quality and use that. So yeah, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Till next time, I'll see y'all later. Okay, bye.